Watch you guys got another video here for you. Now I've been inundated by lots of people saying what can they do with their Windows XP computer. Some people have gone out and bought a new machine and some people can't afford to buy a new machine. Some people have been contemplating putting uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 on that machine and I can tell you now that it probably won't work because the hardware is designed for Windows XP and there probably isn't not much support for it and it probably won't work okay you're going to end up with loads of problems um, and it's not going to be fast enough and not enough memory and the list goes on and on and on so what is the options well if you are one of these people that haven't got a lot of money or you don't want to go and spend any money then the option is to put Linux on there now I know what you're thinking hold on a sec I don't know anything about Linux well there is a couple of distros that you can use and I'm going to suggest a decent distro which will solve your problems. It's a very easy transition to go from Windows to uh, Linux and the version I'm going to suggest you can install is Linux Lite. Now I'm going to be installing the 2.0 beta version which is the new version that's been released but they have got uh, other stable uh, versions before this okay, which you could do. Now the good thing about this is it's very small and uh, in size you can see they've managed to create a 699 megabyte size file which will allow you to burn this onto a CD now if you don't know how to burn onto a CD then you can watch uh, the video on how to do that I've made videos on that and this will allow you to burn the actual ISO onto a CD then you can put that into your computer and then load it on now I will show you how to install it it's very simple and I'll show you how to set it up now this distro here you can see here We've got the 32-bit and the 64-bit version. Uh, the, the Probably the easiest to install and have less problems with is going to be the 32-bit, um, I would suggest. But the 64-bit might be a little bit more in-depth. Uh, you've got the torrents here, which you can download it from, which is totally legal as well. Or you can install it from uh, a live USB. Okay. Now, you can see here also the sort of recommendations that they're suggesting. And the recommendations, let me pull this up a bit so you can see. Um, this is the actual desktop here So you've got a 700 megahertz processor, which is absolutely nothing and you've got 512 megabytes of RAM 5 gig of hard drive space needed and a VGA compatible of uh, 1024 by 768 resolution now that is right in the window for a Windows XP machine it should easily uh, run this uh, operating system and it will fly it really will feel like you've got a new computer I'm, I'm pretty sure of it so what we're going to do is install this enough talking and let's get on with the installation and I'll show you uh, what it looks like once you get it all installed so this is Linux Lite this is the version we're going to be installing the 2.0 beta version you're going to get this when you put your CD in then you'll get this screen coming up which is the Linux Lite 2.0 just let that run and install ok now you will lose all your data so make sure you back up everything before you install this so just be patient let it do its thing okay and uh, it will start to install now once you get to this screen what you want to do here is click on the install Linux Lite okay this is what you're looking for so click on this and then you'll get this window popping up okay what we want to do here is select your language so there's many different languages here we're going to be using uh, English and then click on continue now once you get here you've got a couple of options open to you so we're going to put the ticks in both of these uh, here and uh, and then we're going to go continue now the next part is which is going to erase and install Linux okay so this is the part where you've got no return once you click this it's going to wipe everything on your drive so we're going to click on install again it's saying London which is fine for me I'm going to click on continue and again this is our keyboard layout it was very simple uh, UK UK for me so I'm going to click on continue again you've got your name here you can put on and uh, you can see uh, your computer name here and uh, pick a password or username uh, here so your username is going to be Linux Lite I'm going to make mine Brightek Uh, it's going to be lowercase as you can see here so we're just going to quickly change that and uh, password which will be here which I would suggest you do so we're going to put a password in there it's just for this video and then what we're going to do 
is click on continue now you've got the option here to encrypt your home folder if you wish I'm just going to leave that as is for now for this video but you can choose to do what you like let that install it's just copying the files across okay so now we've completed our installation um, what we've got the option here is to restart so what we're going to do is quickly restart so you can see here now it's saying please remove installation media and close your tray and then press enter once you're finished okay so now we need to log in and we need to put our, uh, our actual uh, password in here and as you can see it's very quick to boot up and now we are back at our desktop now this is the actual wallpaper you can change wallpapers by right clicking on your desktop and uh, you can pick out what uh, wallpaper you want desktop settings and stuff like that um, but we'll go cover that in a second uh, so what we're going to do here is got some options here but the first thing you want to be doing really you want to click on your menu here and you can see there's a little tab here that says uh, install updates that's the very first thing you want to do uh, so what we're going to do here it needs our password again so I'm just going to put my password in and push enter and that's now going to update everything on this operating system so just let that go through and do its updates okay and once you've done that we can install more software if we wish so we're just going to uh, see what this says here so we're going to say yes to this okay so that's the update now complete and we can close this window now what we can do here now is come into the menu system here and you can see you've got some options open here for yourself and you can always install updates but you can see we've got settings here and this will have all your settings that you want okay and you've also got your graphics which has got all your GIMP image viewer um, internet which has got all your browser and stuff like that okay now there's the multimedia side which is your VLC media player office and so on okay now if you come into system there's um, a little here area here we can uh, go into you've got your install and remove software area but you've also got your install additional software inside your system and that will be the next place I would go to so once you get into here you can then see that you've got some options open to us here install additional software now if there is anything in here that you would like to put on your system you can do that by just typing the number it's very simple and they will put that on the system so for argument's sake um, let's say Skype here number 16 all you need to do is put 16 in push enter and that will then start to install Skype on your system it needs your password because we've created a password there to be secure and then that will download and install uh, Skype on your system very simple easy to do okay and that's the installation done very very fast and uh, we could now say yes to this if we wanted to and then that would uh, agree our terms and set up our Skype on our system okay we can put our Skype name in and away we go so let me just close that off and then close this off here now if you wanted to go back in there again uh, you could do and do more software if you wish I'm just going to quickly show you once more we'll do one more I suppose we've got Netflix here as you can see instant messenger uh, Google talk browser uh, Dropbox so let's do Dropbox uh, we'll do number four so we can just type four in there and just say yes to this uh, put our password in and click OK and then that will start to install Dropbox on the system very simple for uh, Linux uh, newbies I would say really you can't go wrong
and uh, click OK. It tells you where it's located, and you can go ahead and put some other stuff on here if you wish. Okay. Again, if you want to change uh, stuff, you can right click on here, like I told you, and uh, you can take snapshots, task uh, manager here, open up a terminal just by right clicking, open as administrator, uh, desktop settings here, and appearances and stuff like that. You can do all that sort of stuff uh, right there as well. Uh, desktop settings again, you can open this up. And you can see we've got all our backgrounds here. We can change our backgrounds by just clicking on these. It's very simple and very easy to do. So if you wanted this one, you can do that and then you can click close and then that wallpaper is then changed, okay? Very simple, easy to set up. And there you can see a nice picture of my hometown, London. And uh, as you can see, it's very simple to do. Now, this operating system is a very uh, easy to use operating system. It's awesome, it's packed with features and uh, give it a go guys I mean it's worth a go if you've got an operating system that is no more supported by Microsoft at least by using this type of software you're going to be more secure okay it's got everything you need uh, the same as what XP has got but it's much much better and much more secure okay and if you wanted things like uh, Chrome and stuff you can also get that in here they do a Chrome web browser all you'd need to do is come in here and install that if that's what you prefer and uh, that would install Chrome as well okay so if you don't like Firefox and you would like, prefer Chrome it's very simple they've also got wine which you can install and that allows you to install other stuff as well okay so anyway so we'll let this just install and finish off this video so we can launch Chrome open up Chrome now I'm going to make it our default browser and there we are Chrome is open so basically uh, that's all you need to do here it will be on your internet tab once you do that okay and there we have it so I think we're gonna wrap this video up so if you ask me I think it's well worth keeping your XP box if you haven't got the money and install something like this now if you've got any other options uh, or any other suggestions uh, to uh, Linux based distros then give me a message down below in the comment section and uh, we can always have a look at those as well if you wish before you install I don't mind installing them onto a virtual machine and show you uh, before you commit to anything okay anyway have a great weekend guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope you enjoyed the video if you did then hit the like button guys also uh, if you'd like to uh, subscribe to my channel then hit the subscribe button that's going to keep you up to date when I upload new videos okay so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continual support bye for now